next question from the brothers Mike on my left. Hi, my name is Rahul. I'm a banker by profession. I just wanted to ask you one thing. Like ever since I have the sense of religion, we have heard that God is one, and we are hearing it again as the God is one. But just now we had two people going as for you call Shahada or what you call is there is no God except Allah. And continuing what did you just tell Mr. Rajesh that whatever religion which came into existence before Islam, this Islam corrected the some ways out of this and some way out of that, that there were some uh, mistakes in the religions before Islam and Islam corrected the things and the messenger, the last messenger what you are just talking about, he corrected them all and now you have to follow the things again. So are you denying the fact that there was no God except Allah before Islam, like there is no Lord Shiva, there was no Lord Ganesha as per Hinduism or as per something. So are you totally denying the fact according to Islam? So as you say there is no God except Allah? Where is, as, where is as we say God is one? The brother asked a very good question. He said that when I say and I give the shahada that there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, do you mean to say that Islam came and corrected, so before Islam there was no God, and that's what I mean to say, brother, there's a slight misunderstanding. Islam is not a new religion. Islam did not come into existence 1400 years back. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the founder of Islam. Islam is there since time immemorial. It is there since man set foot on the earth. And Prophet Muhammad is not the founder of the religion of Islam. He is the last and final messenger. So before Hinduism came into existence, Islam was there. And Allah clearly says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, verse 19, in the Dina in the Lail Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam. And the message is repeated in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 85, that if anyone takes any other religion besides Islam, it will never be accepted of him. He'll be amongst the loser. Meaning, there is only one religion, Islam. The first prophet was Prophet Adam. Peace be upon him. Many other prophets came. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said there were 124,000 messengers sent on the face of the earth. By name we know only 25 in the Quran. Adam, Abraham, Noah, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. Now, by name I know 25 only in the Quran. You may tell me that don't you believe in Ram? Don't you believe in Krishna? I say I don't know. Were the prophets of God? I say, I don't know. Maybe they were, maybe they were not. Maybe they were, maybe they were not. Because they are not mentioned in the Quran, I don't know. Maybe they were, maybe they were not. But all the messengers that came before the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, they were sent only for those people in that time. Their message was time bound. But because Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger, his message was not meant only for the Muslims or the Arabs, it is meant for the whole of humanity. That's why Quran says in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةَ Almin That we have sent thee not, but as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to all the worlds, as a mercy to all the human beings. Similarly, all the scriptures that came before, my name only four are mentioned in the Quran. Torah, Zabur, Injil and the Quran. But Quran says in Surah Rod, chapter number 13, verse number 38, In every age I have been sent a revelation. There were many books sent. I don't know my name. You ask me, can you call Veda the word of God? Maybe, maybe not. But even if it's the word of God, all the scriptures that came before the Quran, they were meant only for those people in that time. Now because there was time bound, Almighty God did not think it fit to preserve it. Now because Quran is the last and final revelation, Quran when it was revealed about 14 years back, it was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, it was sent for the whole of humanity. Quran says in Surah Ibrahim chapter 14 verse number 1, in Surah Ibrahim chapter 14 verse 52, in Surah Zumur chapter 39 verse 41, that the Quran was sent for the whole of humanity. It was not sent only for the Muslims and the Arabs. So today, no but I think we are not talking about the humanity, we are talking about the Islam, that Islam is totally denying the fact that there is no God except Allah. What, what I'm trying to say out, out right here is, like just, you just told me that it is written in Quran, that it, is not, it may not be written in Quran or it is not written in Quran that there were some ways, there were some 
scriptures written or not. So it means there was a mistake by the writers, or, uh, by the scholars or scriptures Correct. of the Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism that they did not mention that there is some God existing? Very good question. What I am telling you, if you heard my answer correctly, you will understand. I said all the scriptures that came before, because they were not meant to be followed till literality, God did not think it fit to preserve it. If you heard my answer, there were many scriptures, by name I know only four. But because they are not supposed to be followed today, why should I do research on it? So by, 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 by this you are meaning that there was no Ramayana, there was no Mahabharat? I am telling you there were many scriptures. But like, like now, now also it has been proved geographically that there was uh, like uh, proofs getting down that there was Ramayana, there was that, uh, pulls, setus and what you have heard also okay, about. You want to know about Ramayana? So, no, no, it has been proved. I, I mean to say. I will tell you the proof I now. mean to say. Like, Fine, now you are asking me a question. That God I am giving you information now. You are talking me about Ramayana and Mahabharat. I don't know what your knowledge is about Ramayana and Mahabharat. I am asked how many types of Ramayana are there? I really don't know about don't that. Know. I just know the basic version of the Ramayana. You know, I'll tell you. we have heard of it and we have seen. I will tell you brother. According to Ramanuja, who is a great scholar of Ramayana, he says there are more than 300 different types of Ramayana. Okay. 300 different types. Which one do you follow? Quran, only one. They may be sects, they may call themselves Shia, Sunni, Anafi, so Shafiya, only Quran is one. So are you openly or behind the stage or behind the curtain trying to deny the fact that there is no God except Allah? Not denying the fact, telling the fact that there was no God before Allah, there is no God before Allah, there will not be a God before Allah. <laughs> but coming to your question. You fail to realize that Islam is not a new religion. Islam no, is no, I, I, I have my due uh, respect to the Quran, to the religion, Islam Correct. religion. There is no doubt about the Quran, there is no doubt about the uh, Holy Messenger and everything else. What I'm my only tell concern you. before the start, at the end of the session, the only concern was, are we denying the fact that there is no God except Allah? So you are totally saying that there is, uh, Hindus have no lords. No, 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 even Hinduism says the same thing, brother. That's what I'm saying. Even Hinduism says, Na tasya patima asti. Of that God, there is no image. Yet you make a statue of God and call him Ram. You make a statue of Krishna and call him God. You make a statue of Brahma. Why? No, that is a sentimental uh, sort not of thing. Not sentimental, but, but not challenge the sentiments you, of the people. Not challenge. By challenging the sentiment, if you are going against the instruction of your Creator, you are not obeying Him. You cannot say, I am sentimental, therefore I am to kill anyone. I am sentimental, I am to insult anyone. No, but you are insulting God. But instructor never told us also this thing that you cannot. Uh, uh, pray me by creating my idol or something it like is that. Mentioned. This, is the, this is the internal sentiment of the uh, Not uh, this internal. Follower. It is mentioned in Yajur Ved, chapter number 32, verse number 3. What? Don't make an image of Almighty God and you're making. So you're going against the commandment of your scripture, not my scripture. Your but, scripture. But what I'm trying to tell you that if you call yourself a Hindu, which Hindu? A Hindu who believes in Vedas. A Hindu believes in Mahabharat. You are talking about, about scientific thing. If I talk about scientific thing, do you know Mahabharat? Mahabharat was a story told by the grandfather of Arjun. Initially, Mahabharat contained only 8,000 shlokas. Later on, it contained 24,000 shlokas. Today, it contains more than 100,000. Where did it come from? Moment the story was told, generation down generation, they kept on adding their family members as heroes. So today's scholars say the original Mahabharat which was a story told between the feud, between two families, exactly. Pandavas and Kauravas, was 8,000 verses. Today it's 100,000. Where did the 92,000 come from? No, I think we swayed away from what we were discussing. Not actually. swayed away. So no. therefore, me as a scientific person will tell you, this Mahabharat has got interpolation, has a concoction, has a corruption. Not me. The Hindu scholars say that. The Hindu scholars, if you read, they say it's an interpolation, not Dr. Zakir. I read their books, but I'm enlightening you. Your Pandit may not be telling you. And what I'm telling you, you're talking Mahabharat. You know Kurukshetra? Do you know where Kurukshetra is today? Yeah. Do you know how big it is? Yeah. How big? Your Mahabharat tells that there are Akshohoni. From when he started from morning till night he was keeping on riding the chariot. And there were 13 Akshohoni. Each Akshohoni contains about 100,000 elephants and few hundred thousand horses. You know the Kurukshetra is so small. Where can it fit? Suppose I tell you in this hall, one million people came for my lecture. You will tell Dr. No, Zakir no, no. is a fool. 
I think that Brother. Kurukshetra has been geographically uh, retained the name of Kurukshetra now. Brother. But that time the whole area was called as Kurukshetra. So Brother. I think... Have you read Mahabharat? I'm not read, but I have heard of it. I have this is the problem. You have heard. I have read. I am giving you reference. I am a person who is a medical doctor. I am telling you, brother, you have diabetes, don't touch sugar. But I have heard some having sugar is good for diabetes. I said, brother. No, I was I'm giving you answer for what just you, you said that one million horses cannot be bounded in this small arena or whatever. I said, not horses. Not horses. horses. Whatever, audience, whatever, audience. Whatever. Horses don't come to I'm listen sorry, to my I'm lecture. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to everybody else. Otherwise, <laughs> you are calling the audience my, horses. No, no, no. My answer was to you like that time. The Kurukshetra was not defined as an area. It was the whole defined. Area, the it whole is, area as such. It is yes, defined right, in the Mahabharat. Anyways. The area is defined. The boundaries are given. Now, Today, if you, if now, you find now. out, not bound, even in the scriptures. The scripture says what it is. I mean, Krishna geographical script. location. Yes, geographical location. The scripture says what was I know this place was only 50 miles away from my home, home, home. From town. your home, but do you know your scripture? <laughs> your scripture is miles away from your mind. Anyways, I think we are swearing off from what you were just saying. So. Not swaying, I'm telling you scientifically if you do research, you come to know there is so much of concoction, there is so much of... I'm not here to criticize the scripture. Now because you're talking about scientific proof and logic, I'm coming to that. My question to you is, Islam is there since time memorial. So where is the question of before Islam? No. I before think... Islam there were no human being. When human being came, Islam came. So where is the question of things before I, Islam? I, I think this is a matter so of... So your I... knowledge of Islam is less. You may think Islam came into existence 1400 years back. You know Hinduism, Hindu scriptures, the scholars say, majority say, Hindu scriptures came into existence 4000 years back. Islam did not come 4000 years back. Islam is a since time memorial. We don't know how many years, millions and millions of years. So for you to say before Islam, before God is before also there was no God but Allah. Today also there is no God but Allah. Even after millions and billions of years afterwards, there is no God but Allah. So this it is just this a matter of belief among all the religions. So as I believe, all the religions, including Hinduism. including human, including Hinduism, this is the belief. Including Christianity, this is the belief. Including Islam, this is the no, belief. No, including Hinduism, this is the belief that the God is one. I never say that there is no God except Lord Shiva or Lord Ram. That was my concern. Thank you very much. No, Thank but you. Lord Shiva is not God. Lord Shiva is Avatar. If you say messenger, I've got no problem. But the moment you say God, Lord Shiva is a different God, Krishna is a different God, Ram is a different God, that means you're going against your scriptures saying that ikkam ividityam, God is only one without a second. So what I realize, your knowledge, because being limited, you are telling me as a medical doctor, if I'm telling you, you have diabetes, there's problem in your pancreas, etc. Have less sugar. No, no, no. I have read, you know, sugar is good for energy, calories. Are bhai, it is poison for you. No, no, no. I say, what can I do? Thank you very much for your so kind answers. And I pray to Allah Thank to guide you. Much. Thank you very much. Thank so you very much. much.